Hi YouTube, thanks so much for the positive comments I've gotten with my my first video and I'm excited to bring you my second video. As I was planning out that first one and the things that I wanted to say, I realized there's a lot more that I wanted to tell my YouTube friends about things that you need to do when you are preparing to become a, a concealed handgun carrier and um, there, there's just a lot of things that go into it that I wanted to share with you guys the benefit of some of uh, the things that I learned. A lot of these things I learned um, watching other YouTube videos, some things I learned, just kind of a trial and error on things of my own. And so the first thing that you will need when you decide that you are considering becoming a concealed carrier is a belt. And so a belt and a holster and a gun. And um, I heard over and over and on uh, sites and blogs that you have to have a gun belt. And I didn't quite understand the reason for that at the time. And so I just, because, you, you know, it's hard to buy everything that you need all at once. And so I started out by just using my Western belt. And so um, so here's the, the belt that I used at first. And here's my compact or CompTAC Infidel holster on there. And so here's my bodyguard 380. See, it's unloaded. And so when it's in there, so I'm going to go from a different direction here. When it's in there, it does kind of pull on the, the belt. And so I wanted you to see. Now, I have not worn this belt in months, but do you see how it's kind of warped there? These western belts just aren't strong enough to hold the weight of your holster and your pistol, even a really small one like the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard in a little infidel holster. And so it really is important to get a good dedicated gun belt. It makes all the difference. And I think my next big purchase is going to be one of the Aries Ranger belts that Folly Photography wears. I love that thing. Um, so I've got I've got belt envy right now. So so you need a belt and a holster of some kind to go with a handgun that you have already, and um, and then pants with belt loops wide enough to carry your gun belt. When you when so if you might just start out carrying around the house with whatever belt you have, and, and you'll quickly realize that it's not going to be sufficient. But it, it's a good thing to just practice with and see how it goes. And so one of my biggest advice is to start wearing your gun around the house. Or at least, I think the first, uh, after we took our concealed handgun class, I was so excited. And um, I just started carrying around the house. And I was really nervous to carry a gun at that point. And so I just carried... I got I got a holster and I carried an empty holster in my on my waistband just to kind of see how that was and, and it's not illegal to carry a holster around without a license and so I went everywhere with just a holster on my belt just to see what it felt like and to see if any anybody noticed and of course nobody did but can practice it. so then after I felt comfortable with, with the holster then I remember putting a, a, a gun in the holster and it, and it wasn't even loaded at first but again, I wanted to get comfortable with the whole process before I started carrying around a loaded weapon. And so then, maybe after a couple of days of carrying an empty gun, then, then I think I loaded a few bullets into the, the magazine, and then just, just stepwise. Then I filled up the magazine over a period of a few days, and then finally one day I decided, okay, it's time to put one in the chamber. And so I did that, and then finally I uh, started carrying with one in the chamber while at home. And so while you're carrying just around your home, there are things that you can practice. And one of those is, is keeping your, your pistol covered up while you're walking around the house and, and doing those normal things that you're doing and to, as kind of a simulation as if you were out shopping and out doing some other things around, around town. And, um, and so it be, kind of became a game that I would practice hiding it from my husband and my kids. And so if they didn't notice I was wearing it, then why would anybody else out, out there, why would they notice it either? And so it was kind of fun to practice hiding it from them before I was trying to hide it from the rest of the world. And, um, and then you'll see as you're just carrying it around the house, there's issues that you learn to overcome. Like how do you go to the bathroom with a, a gun in your holster and, 
and those types of things. So those are, those are issues that you can work out while you're at home and you're not in a public restroom or in a, a public area trying to figure those things out. So I, I mentioned a little bit about um, holsters, a couple of holsters that I have. And that will be the topic of another video, the holsters that I have for the handguns that I use. Um, so, which brings us to the next thing that you'll discover as you are carrying around your house is that there may be, you may need to acquire some different articles of clothing. Now, I, I do hear or read often in bulletin boards and things that guys are, are kind of uh, sad that their wives and girlfriends won't carry because they like to wear fitted clothing or they're, they're nice and thin and they want, they want to be able to show that off. And, and I totally get that. Um, I like to... I, I like being thin, and I like to you know I don't want to I don't want to wear a whole bunch of extra clothing, so um, I can't show off you know what I look like. I work hard to 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 stay slim, and and um, I don't want to cover all that up. But um, so there are ways to to dress nicely and look good, even though you're carrying. But there's also there are a few modifications that you might need to make, and um, and I think as women understand the importance of carrying to protect themselves, then that issue begins to become more important than just wearing the, your favorite, the favorite clothes that you want to wear all the time. And so there, there becomes a balance as you really kind of get that testimony, I guess, if you will, of how important, important it is to carry. So that'll be the subject of another video where I'll show you some of my different clothing options and, um, cover garments and those types of things, but so like little sweaters to to cover your clothes um, are, are nice to have. I'll show you in another video the difference in wearing like fitted shirts versus regular T-shirts and how those cover um, your handgun differently as well. Um, something else you might discover that you need to acquire are pants that maybe have wider belt loops. And if you don't have belt loops on your pants, what are some other carry options that you have? So then uh, the last thing that I want to mention, I think that's something you need to consider as you are preparing to become a concealed handgun carrier is how you're going to store your gun at home when you, when you take it off at night. Before we got our licenses, our handguns were all taken apart and stored up in a closet. Well, I can tell you every morning when I get up, I'm not going to want to go and reassemble an entire pistol and load it in before I'm going to put it in my holster and walk out for the day. So um, what we did is we bought one of these mini vaults where you just push the buttons and, and the, the vault opens. That way we can keep our handguns loaded so they're there readily accessible, let's say, during the night. And it's also easy to get to in the morning when I'm getting dressed and um, holstering my, my pistol for the morning. Um, I have little kids in my house, and so leaving leaving a loaded weapon just on my nightstand is is or in a nightstand drawer or even in, in the top of my closet somewhere is just not an option because I, there's no way I want my kids to have any uh, to, to be able to accidentally get a hold of that. So keeping my loaded pistols, if it's not on my body, then it's going to be in this locked box, and there's, there's just no. That's just the way it is. There's, there's no way around that. So those are my best pieces of advice for preparing to become a concealed handgun carrier. And I'd love to hear your comments. And stay tuned for more. I, I, I'd like to just show you guys um, other videos showing the, my holsters and the handguns that I carry, as well as clothing options for um, being able to dress nicely, but still be able to conceal your handgun on your body and keep yourself safe. Thanks for watching.